the state of the art barefoot footwear can be kind of expensive <laughs> and is frankly probably overkill for a lot of people, especially if you're just getting into barefoot shoes. But there's no need to break the bank to get your feet healthy. In my opinion, these affordable options are some of the best bang for your buck and maybe the best way to get into barefoot shoes if you're just trying them out or trying to break in. So let's go. First, we've got the Shama Sandals Cruisers. These are $60. And first of all, I love getting started with sandals, right? These were my first barefoot shoes or sandals. And what I love about them is since they're sandals, there's no walls, there's no barriers. Your toes can splay out over this really wide toe box, but there's not even a box, it's just a thing. <laughs> Second, they're made for running. You can walk in these, you can run in them, you can wear them all day. They're super good for your feet. Um, they're pretty durable. And the strapping is virtually the same as their more expensive models. This is just kind of the base level. So $60 is not bad for just trying to get started. Plus, if you can get used to wearing these, Switching to a barefoot shoe is going to be a piece of cake. Which brings us to my second item. These are the Zero Prio. Now, if you watch my channel, you already know that these are pretty much my favorite shoe ever anyway. But they're $90, which is really not bad. It's sub 100 these shoes are maybe not the number one option that you'd pick for any specific thing, but they can do <laughs> almost anything, right? You can run in them, you can walk in them, you can wear them all day, you can lift in them, and they look pretty cool. They look pretty normal, right? Some barefoot shoes look kind of wacky and crazy. <laughs> so if you're just getting into it, you might want a more chill, normal looking shoe. And I think the Prio is great for that. I think they're a great standard for making the barefoot transition, right? They come with an insole that's optional, so you can start out wearing that if you want, or you can wear it forever. But they're zero drop, they've got a wider toe box, and they'll be great. They'll probably end up being one of your favorite shoes, even if you get more. So once you have barefoot shoes and sandals or whatever, your bottleneck for how much your foot health can improve, how much your toes can spread apart and you get the whatever <laughs> the bottleneck can become your socks if you have only socks that are really squeezing your toes together that can get frustrating when you start to get used to your feet being more free so instead of having to drop 25 or 30 dollars on you know these admittedly great toe socks or whatever fancy socks you might get i'm gonna recommend <laughs> the Hanes Cushion Crew Double Tough Durability. These are just your normal, <laughs> normal, just Hanes socks. And I actually used to not really like these ones because they're kind of loose and like they don't hug your feet a ton. Um, and now I love them for the exact same reason, right? They don't squeeze your toes together. I have room to move around and Anyway, you might not even need to get this specific one, right? These Hanes are $11 for six pairs, which, like, that's great. Like, you'll be golden with just that, probably. I have a 12-pack somehow. But yeah, you could probably get any other variety of cheap socks. Maybe go a size up, although I haven't tried that. But just to make sure that you have room for your feet to move around a little bit. Also, I wouldn't normally uh, recommend buying from Amazon necessarily, but that's the only link I could find to these specific socks if you want to check them out in the description. There you go. Those are just a few ideas to help making, well, to help making the transition, to help making the transition, <laughs> to help make... 
<laughs> so these are just a few ideas to help make the transition of going barefoot a little bit less painful, right? A little <laughs> less painful on your wallet. Um, you know, you can get the cool stuff down the road, but if you just want to get your foot in the door and try it out, these are some ideas. Also, if you're interested in the Prios, I actually have a whole video uh, going through why I love those shoes so much right here. So go ahead and check that out if you want, if you're thinking about buying those. And yeah, bye.